Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to read a text file in C, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, we need to have an existing file, ex existing file. so let's go with foldbandfile.txt. Uh, to open a file to, uh, for reading, we're going to use the R, okay, R, that stands for reading. Uh, and now we can start reading this file. So there's many ways of doing this in C. I'm just gonna follow one of the examples that I saw in the C documentation. Okay, so uh, we need to use a we need to create a char. Okay, uh, buffer. Let's say we wanna read for eight characters at a time. So create a buffer of eight. Uh, there are some things that you could do here, such as verify if the FB is not new. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to run the t entire code here, which is pre pretty basic. So we run a while loop. And we're going to use fgets, okay? And in this fgets, we're going to go with the buffer, the size of the buffer, which is eight, and then we're going to pass our pointer, which is fp. And inside of this uh, while loop, we're just going to go with this example code. Okay, uh, actually, we need to, while this is different from new, which is our uh, condition, we're going to do printf, um, uh, is a string, uh, sent as, and then buffer. So that's the way we read a text file. Let's close this, the, this FP here. So if I execute this, we, um, you were able to read this entire file. So, as I said before, there are many ways of reading text files in C, but this is the way that I find the most useful. Um, so we get, we are reading basically eight, eight characters at a time here. Um, so while I'm gonna have to break this down a little bit, so this F gets get reads a chunk of the file of this file here. So we are basically reading this file into this buffer array, okay? Uh, and then if this is different than no, we're gonna print that. Uh, if I add a new line here, you guys notice, we are seeing exactly what I said before. We are reading eight um, bytes or eight, eight characters at a time. As you can see here, okay? If I change this to, let's say two, or four, we're gonna be reading four at a time. So for larger files, I recommend you guys using maybe uh, two kilobytes or two kilobytes would be something like this. Uh, a thousand and twenty-four times two, a thousand twenty-four times two. So if you guys have larger files, you guys should definitely do this, okay? And we are able to read the, this entire file without a problem. But if you have larger, really large files, you should you guys should use larger buffers, not uh, in the matter of bytes, but kilobytes. Okay. So this is how you read file, guys. Sorry if I made it too long, but this was the video. So hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.